Hello friends, welcome back. Our next topic in mensuration is application. Till now, we have learned about the cylinder, cone, frustum, cuboid, cube, sphere, hemisphere, but those were a single identity, single items. But generally, in reality or in practice, we see the combination of these shapes. For example, if you see the test tube, the test tube is a cylindrical shape, but at the bottom end, it is a hemisphere. Isn't it? It is a hollow, but it's a hemisphere. Now, you might have seen the tent of a circus. It is a cylindrical shape at the bottom and the roof is conical shape. Buckets we see, bucket is a conical shape with the top end is cut. That means we call that shape as a frustum. So we have to find out the total surface area or the volume of such figures where the combination of these 3D items are there. Let us see few examples of it. A circus tent is cylindrical up to a height of now first of all we draw the shape it is a cylindrical up to a particular height up to this height it is cylindrical okay up to a height of 3.3 .3 meters so up to 3.3 .3 meters it is cylindrical and conical above it above this it is a cone Okay, so now we have a combination of two figures. One is the cylinder and one is the cone. If the diameter of the base is 100 meters, now this is 100 meters. Diameter is 100 meters means we have radius is 50 or I'll write it here. So radius is 50 and height is 3.3 meters of cylinder okay and slant height of a conical part is 56.4 meters 56.4 meters is a slant height that is l we have so we have l is equal to 56.4 then what they say find a total canvas used in making the tent how much canvas will be used if you can calculate the total surface area because this is totally made up of canvas so if you can find a total surface area then you will find the canvas used for it okay now here we are considering the bottom is not covered with the canvas that means there is no canvas flooring only the curved surface area is there so now we have to calculate two things first the curved surface area of a cylinder with the radius 50 and height 3.3 meters and then we have to find out the curved surface area of the cone with the slant height 56.4 and radius will be same as this because this cone is just on the top of the cylindrical part so here also radius is 50 so we want to calculate surface area curved surface area of this figure and that is equal to the curved surface area of the cylinder plus the curved surface area of a cone you know both the formulas curved surface area of cylinder you know and curved surface area of cone also you know so please pause your video here write the formulas refer to your previous notes write the formulas for the curved surface area of cylinder and curved surface area of cone and calculate the requirement of canvas for building this tent please pause your video and solve this problem the formula is 2 pi r h plus pi r l and the final answer is 99 
hundred meter square. This much canvas will be needed to build this tent. Very easy. Any time you will be given the combination of figures, you have to find out. You have to first judge the different variables. That is the radius, height, slant height, whatever it is required to calculate this, and you have to. find out the surface areas square surface areas or volumes as per the combination of the figures so let us see one more example the diameter of a metallic sphere is 6 cm so diameter is 6 cm so radius is 3 cm immediately we can write this if it melted and drawn into wire now it is this sphere is melted and drawn into wire okay this is the sphere diameter this is the sphere radius now we have the diameter of wire and radius of wire they say that 0.02 cm 0.2 cm is a diameter so radius will be 0.1 cm okay find the length of the wire you have to find the length of the wire the wire is nothing but of cylindrical shape the wire is always of cylindrical shape now this sphere is melted and that metal is used in wire so first of all keep in mind the volume of both the solids will be same so what will be volume of this sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube and what will be volume of this wire pi r square h so you can go in both the directions for example you can calculate first substituting 3 here you can calculate the figure then sub vs and vw are same and then you can find out the h or you can do something like this vs is equal to vw and that is why 4 by 3 into pi into 3 cube is equal to pi into 0.1 square h now in this case this will get cancelled this 1 3 will get cancelled with This three and here you will get square. So you have thirty six equal to. So here you will get zero point zero one h. You can just divide. So h will be equal to thirty six upon zero point zero one. That is nothing but thirty six hundred. everything in centimeter so the height will be also in centimeter now in this case you cannot call it as a height because it's a wire you should call it as a length of the wire but remember though the wire is very small it is of the cylindrical shape only so you have the radius of the cross section and a height just like cylinder but that height will be called as the length so we have as a final answer 3600 cm the length of the wire or you can say uh, 36 meters okay rather you can uh, answer you can call it as a 36 meters also both the answers are correct let us see next example the third example is also of similar type that means the dimension of metallic cuboid r we have cuboid of the dimensions of the metallic cuboid are 44 into 42 44 into 42 into 21 cm all dimensions are in cm it is molten okay now if it is molten and some other shape is formed that means what will be the common thing volume the volume of both the objects will be same it is molten and recast into a sphere very simple now the volume of the cuboid is 
L into B into H. That is the multiplication of all these three things. And this is equal to, now the sphere is formed, okay? But the volume of that will be same. So, volume of sphere, this is the volume of cuboid. Volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. You can equate to this, that means 44 into 42 into 21 is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Right? So you can solve this and find the value of r. Here pi you can take as uh, 22 by 7. So it will be easier for your calculation part. So first find out the value of r. Okay? But what they have asked? Find the total surface area of the sphere. Now they have asked the total surface area. Then that means after finding the value of r, you have to substitute in the formula of total surface area or the surface area of the sphere. So please pause your video here and calculate r first and from that value of r find the total surface area of sphere. Please do it now. The answer here r is 21 centimeters and total surface area for the sphere is 4 pi r square and the answer you might have got double five double four centimeter square now in case of sphere I have written as that is the surface area but in case of sphere you can write as a AC or AT AT is a total surface area AC is a curved surface area in case of sphere both are same so I just written as a surface area okay this was a very simple example actually you have to remember whenever one solid is melted and another solid is recast the volumes of both the uh, objects are same okay let's go to next example find the number of coins of 2.2 centimeter diameter so the diameter of coin is 2.2 centimeter so radius of coin is 1.1 centimeter and thickness of 0 0.2 so thickness means now coin is of what shape the coin is a cylindrical shape okay though if you though the thickness of the coin is very small but it is a cylindrical shape so what is the height of the coin is 0 0.2 centimeter now they are asking how many such coins can be made how many such coins can be made from a right circular cylinder from a right circular cylinder of height 0 0.2 meters and diameter of 8.8 .8 centimeters actually this is also right circular cylinder and this is also right circular cylinder both okay now only one thing you have to remember here they are given 0 0.2 meters but all the dimensions are there in centimeters so first of all you have to convert them convert this height into centimeter that is 20 centimeters now what will be the common thing in this what will be the common thing the volume whenever the one item is molded and another item is recast the volume is same okay so any number of coins can be made from this x number of coins can be made of this but total volume of all those coins will be same as the volume of this so we can calculate the volume of the cylinder this is the diameter so the radius is 4.4 centimeters so what is the volume of the cylinder pi r square h okay and what is the volume of the one coin volume of the one coin is also pi r square h correct 
and they are asked how many coins. So the number of coins are there. When you made this item, so many number of coins will be made. That is the number of coins is NC. So the total volume of the coins will be total volume of the coins will be pi r square h into n and that will be equal to this volume that is pi r square h correct so we have to find this this pi will get cancelled r square that is 1.1 square h is into 0 0.2 into n is equal to r here is 4.4 centimeters 4.4 square and h is 20 only n is unknown you can easily find out n the number of coins present or you can do one more thing you can first calculate this volume okay and then you can calculate this volume or you can do one more thing calculate both the volumes and then just calculate the number of coins that means divide this volume by this volume so you will get the n in both the cases answer will be same so please pause your video and quickly calculate the number of coins present the answer is n equal to 1600 there is no unit because this is a number of coin so you can just write 1600 coins so friends here are some of the examples of topic applications in this examples i told you there can be the combinations of the different solids uh, cone on the right circular cylinder or the test tube like structure something like that another kind of examples are melting one solid and creating another solid in that case you have to find a, a length of another solid or the height of another solid or radius of another solid depending on which solid you are going to recreate. So now let us move to exercise 6.8 which is the last exercise of the chapter number 6 mensuration. After that we will solve the problem set based on this chapter. Thank you.